So we are at an old archaeological site that was excavated a few years ago. And we want to figure out um, where we are in the world. And one of the things we want to measure on this archaeological site is the areas of the old excavation. Now, we've already done that before, but we may have some issues that are going on with erosion, and we want to be able to record that. So we need to know where we are in the world. And so I'm going to set up the transit, and we're going to get started. So here I have a nail. And this nail is going to be the exact spot that the transit is measuring from. Notice I want it to be as vertical as I can. Because if this nail is all wonky and it's tipping in one direction, then when I measure where the transit is, I'm not going to be measuring an exact location in space. I'm going to be measuring where the top of the nail is. But if somebody wanted to come back and knew that this nail was here, if I didn't drive it in vertically, then we would have a lot of error. So these are the transit legs. So I'm loosening the legs of the transit, the transit legs, so they're going to come up and down. I'm going to put them all together. I'm going to measure up to my chin, because that's where I find works for me. So how do I know I'm on top of the nail? I'm going to take my plumb bob. So now I have my transit legs set up over my nail. And I know that my transit is over the nail because the plumb bob goes all the way to the screw where this transit is going to screw in at the top of this tripod. And I'm going to lock it in. So now I'm going to take my plumb bob off and I'm going to level the transit. So how do you level a transit? If you look at a bullseye arrow and this level here, we can see the dots in the middle where the, um, the bubble of air is. It's way to the side. And that means that our instrument is not level. So we need to have this instrument level. Because if we don't have the instrument level, then it doesn't know where it is in the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these leveling screws that are around the bottom of the instrument to make sure the instrument is level. And we're going to do this a couple different times and have the instrument spin around so that we can tell that it's level in every direction. We can't have it level going this way, but not this way. So we have to have a straight, flat location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these screws, leveling screws, just one of them, and I'm going to twirl it. And you can see that the instrument's going to go up on this side. And you will see that our level, slowly but surely, finds the center. So now what we're going to do is, is that we know that we've got this instrument level going this way. But we still have other directions that we need to level it for. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it. And we're going to do the same thing with the next screw in the order. And I'm going to use the screw that's here to level on one side, and then perpendicular, and the next screw. And sometimes you have to go back and forth because leveling one direction will make the other direction not level anymore. So what this instrument is doing is it's spinning around on the plate that it's on. And as I mess with these screws, as I level with these screws, I am making it level in two directions. 
And this is one really important step. And if it takes a long time, it takes a long time. It has to be accurate. So now I have my instrument pretty level. And if you take a look here in our bullseye level, you can see that the bubble is in the center. And that means that the instrument is absolutely level in all directions.